What kind of art do you make? That's question number one, right? Yes, that's right. Oh, and my name is Blake Andrew Rotten. That's why I go by my initial full name slash pseudonym Bar. Because Andrew's my middle name. Um, shall I finally uh, answer uh, Natalie's first question? My name is Blake Andrew Rotten, and the kind of art I like to make are uh, pencils, inks, and watercolor artwork. I like to make uh, cartoons and comic style uh, artwork, you know? I like to make that, and I usually start with pencils, then I do the ink tracing on the penciled outlines, and then I do the pencil shades on where to do my uh, ink shading uh, stifles and cross hatches, and then I put watercolor under the pencil and inked uh, illustrations after that, and that's how I get my uh, inspiration, because I was inspired by uh, the Mirage Ninja Turtle comics and uh, Service the Aardvark from my hybrid art style, especially in the Ninja Turtles black and white comic series, where they uh, mixed uh, cross hatches with watercolor textures in those gray tones, you know? If you ever read those books. <laughs> what, do you have an art piece of art to show me? Can you tell me about it? Oh yeah, I definitely have one that I'm most proud of. And that second question, very easy to answer with the share content option. Let me see if I can bring that up. Oh yeah, I have one I know I liked for a long time. Gonna jump to uh, my special album. Oh yeah, I have one I'm definitely most proud of. One I know that's often uh, defined the mood. Oh yeah, a real mood feeling. Oh yeah. Hang on. Actually, I'll add three of my favorites, of course. Here's my top five favorites so far. Hope you like them. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This is my uh, Emerald Coppas illustration that I did uh, three years ago after I got into that Tom I saw uh, spiritual remake slash uh, true story reboot called The Disaster Artist. And yeah, it's definitely like a mix of those. And I was inspired by both uh, the original Black, White, Ninja Turtle comics and their old uh, watercolor editions where the old uh, Mirage Turtle color editions had full on watercolor to go with that feeling. And again, I was also inspired by uh, the watercolored comic covers that the Mirage Turtles had, where they showed that not only were they black and white, but they all wore red masks, four red masks in the colored covers back in those days. And that was the truth. Yeah, and, and this one with the grays and color highlights definitely defined the mood. Just like uh, the Sin City movie, if anyone's seen that, they showed the uh, distinct color mood highlights that define what was going on in a gray-toned world, you know? Oh, yeah. And there's uh, my original character, Larry Lizard, who I made into a treasure hunter and adventurer like uh, Nathan Drake and Knuckles the Echidna. <laughs> and he likes to take home... Uh, gem-based statues inspired by the animalistic uh, corrupt gem beast from the Steven Universe, which I took inspiration from, and I decided to make a Zircon Aardvark statue based on the first issue's uh, date of release that Therapist the Aardvark's first issue came out, which was December 1977, if you remember that. And here it is in full color. Oh, and this is my work on drawing uh, three Sonic characters as human beings. Since I've seen a lot of uh, 
humanized uh, sonic fan art on such fun, entertaining occasions. And I decided to take inspiration for those and also take inspiration from the Sonic 06 covers, uh, back cover of Eggman and uh, Elise and create that visual feeling right there. This is why you can see uh, their crosshatched outline through that sky. I even created the depth in the layers of grass blades to show just how distant they were. The robots in the distance, you can barely see in black and white, but in full color, you can see them clearly. And that's where things get really, really interesting. Okay. <laughs> and that was about it. Those are all my top five best things I could show. We can do with that. But what do you like about working at ECF? Let's see. Um, I've been working at ECF for over uh, seven whole years since uh, September 2013, after I graduated high school on June 2013 at the time. And I guess why I started liking about it was uh, I could draw whatever I like to draw in color with whichever color medium I could use to color it in, you know? I definitely used to have that kind of freedom back when I was at uh, the ECF in Culver City. And now it's been four years since I've been working at the ECF in Inglewood. And seven whole years since I've been uh, an ECF artist. And honestly, I'm happy and content with what I do there. <sighs> and I would love to get back there once again, once this pandemic is over, that's it. Is there anything else you'd like to tell me about your art practice? My art practice? That I can definitely answer. You see, my main art practice started when I was drawing like uh, Seth MacFarlane and his uh, three Seth MacFarlane cartoons back in the late 2000s. I used to draw like Seth MacFarlane when he drew uh, Family Guy, I mean, when he created Family Guy, American Dad, and The Cleveland Show. Of course, my uh, Seth MacFarlane drawing style, AKA Family Guy art style was very, very crude and not so good at the time. But I had a lot of fun drawing uh, Family Guy style artwork in Mass High School. That's where my art practice began. And then I tried to draw like Don Bluth and mix his drawing style with uh, my Family Guy art style at the time. And then around uh, 2014 to 16, I started drawing like uh, the Dreamkeeper's webcomic slash indie graphic novel series made by David Lilly and his wife, Liz Lilly. So from that point on, I started to practice drawing like uh, the Dreamkeeper's creator using the Dreamkeeper's art style that I practiced on at the time. Then uh, sometime when I got to uh, the ECF in Inglewood, I started looking up uh, a hybrid art style. I learned that the Mirage Turtle Comics had a mixture of watercolor textures under cross hatches at the same time. And that's when I realized from this day on, I wanted to create my own uh, hybrid original art style. Mix a Jack and Dexter PS2 character design drawing style with uh, the digital creators uh, drawing in watercolor crosshatch shading style all together. And that's how I create my hybrid art style today. One of these days when this pandemic's over, I would love to get back to doing uh, independent artwork at ECF, just drawing and coloring illustrations by making pencil and ink 